Sam is eating me out of house and home. It's the final night in Arumchi and it's the food street spectacular. Came here the other day to get that sausage. It's a rice sausage made with lamb and spices. And that white thing underneath is made with sheep's lung. And for an extra quid, you can have a side salad of chickpeas. It's the final fling in a rumchi, episode five. Welcome, one and all. So where are we right now? Well, we're actually really close to the International Grand Bazaar. You can get the subway to our Dodge Hall. So you come out at the subway, but then where'd you go? There's plenty to see, plenty to eat. So uh, let's have a look. It's the Nan Man. These are some good Nans. You could get like tomato flavors, onion flavors. Oh yeah, the, the, and they're so juicy and wet when they come out. You know I like it doughy. <laughs> he didn't understand when I'm saying, well you bring it out a little bit early, don't burn it. But yeah, they only cost them, like only a couple of quid. These ones he's doing now, I've got bits of lamb in. We had a bit of a communication barrier. I ended up having to go back and get them. <laughs> Why do you want to take it out when it's not done properly? Because oh, I'm a weirdo. Just look how fit they are, though. I think it's because I don't like things too oily, but I noticed other people don't really like the lamb when it's cooked like this. This, to me, is the best way to cook the lamb. It's it's like boiled, but it's boiled in a really, oh, it's so fit, it just tastes so nice and it all just like melts in your mouth. And if you want to give it a prod, feel free. <laughs> quite good really it's all outside and there's this huge seating area it's a little bit hot during the daytime but there is this canopy that's kind of a bit shaded so you can go searching for food and then find somewhere to sit and then a chinese grandma will come and clean it all up for you that's a classic culture shock for you when you first come to china and you go to a restaurant and you see how the uh, treat service staff <laughs> it's not everyone but yeah, click your fingers. And if they can't hear that, you just scream across restaurant. What have we got here then? So it's 3 50 for a bowl of fried rice with uh, veg and uh, lamb bits. Oh, just yes. And next door, we've got the poultry section. There's uh, little mini chickens, quails, pigeons, and then there's a cake tower with uh, tea boiled eggs. Let's have a look next door. Oh, it's classic meat sticks. You can get some roasted fish as well. I can get even more meat here. You can get some roasted chicken and some lamb kebabs. I think they're lamb chops on the left hand side there. But it looks more bony than meaty, doesn't it? Oh, it's the classic bits of shit on a stick in a boiled broth here. I can get a little pot of peanuts with soya beans as well. That's an interesting combo. Have you seen enough yet? We'll keep going down here a little bit more. What the hell is this? I forgot what this is. Let's zoom in. It's tofu, isn't it? It's not potato. Is it potato? Oh, God, it looks awful. It just looks like a greasy prop. Uh, I'm gonna go for tofu squares, like fried tofu squares with them little bitty sausages in. And then you can wash it all down with a keg of beer. I've been eyeing this beast up. You can see it's a full lamb that's been roasted. It's even got its own little headpiece. You can buy a portion on a kid's party plate. You can see it's got um, cumin on it too. Uh... Just talking to the guy, he's asking me if I want to put it in the microwave for a quick blast. Do you want to put some pepper on it? It's actually kind of him to ask, they just normally throw it straight on there. Right, that's your lot. I just realised earlier on when I said I don't like things too oily looking at that boiled lamb. That lamb I bought at end, that roasted lamb. 
it were the fattiest meat you've ever had in your life. It was just like eating fat chunks. And it cost a lot as well, you know. I think it were about a tenner for that little plate. Anyway, we're going to Junja. Wow, we are going somewhere new. I'm so excited I could burst. Come and join the fun.